Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is, of course, Michael with Nibiru News and Someone'sBones.com. Approximately one month ago, I did an interview with former KGB agent Strelnikov Isaac Stepanovich discussing Russia's interactions with a hostile race of extraterrestrials known as the Anunnaki, and we began to talk about Putin's desire to rid the world, or at least his area of influence, of this alien pestilence. I said I would have a second, oh, it goes nasty upstairs, a, se a second interview, and today I am fortunate enough to have Strelnikov Isaac Stepanovich back with us, and I know we'll have a, a good conversation. Um, hello Strelnikov, it's a pleasure to speak with you again. My pleasure, Mike. I am happy to have the opportunity to share information with your listening audience. Thank you very much, and they appreciate you too, Strelnikov. Before we get started, I just want to do a brief recap of our last conversation. If anyone out there is, did not listen to the first interview I did with Strelnikov, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. Strelnikov, when we last spoke, you provided some truly shocking information on the, on the Anunnaki. You said Russia has known of them for many years, that Russian forces have had skirmishes with them, and after some time, Russia did develop weapons that could either kill or wound Anunnaki. At the closing of our last conversation, you said an Anunnaki emissary approached President Putin with an ultimatum. I'd like to start right at that point. Could you... Do you remember what was the ultimatum? Uh, yes, my God. Uh, like I said, this villainous race, his ability to instantaneously transport from one location to another via a nexus of portals that only they can see. Anunnaki appeared near the MOD and demanded to speak with President Putin. I am uh, foggy on some details, but what I know is this. Arrangements were made between Putin and Anunnaki to meet at Putin's mansion on the Black Sea coast near the village of Paraskovyevka. At this meeting, the Anunnaki delivered the ultimatum. Leave us alone, we'll leave you alone, or else perish with the rest of the world. Wow. Um, so what you're essentially saying is that the Anunnaki offered Putin peace in exchange for, shall we say, agreeing to participate in a non-intervention agreement? Something like that, but it's much more shocking. The Anunnaki told him that in exchange for not interfering with their plans, they would leave Russia alone and not even set foot on Russian soil without explicit permission. The Anunnaki also said they would tell Putin how to survive Nibiru passing through the solar system. On the other hand, if Putin refused to offer the offer, the Anunnaki said Russia would be the first to fall and its people would be enslaved and taken as food. Um, holy smokes. Assuming that to be true, it's hard to imagine why Putin declined such an being a facetious here, a generous offer. Um, wow. Why would Putin, why, why would Putin deny that? Mm, because, Mike, Putin does not trust them. He may be an optimist, but he is not stupid. He figured that the Anunnaki would dishonor any agreement. These creatures are devilish and man manipulative. So Putin told them to go away. We do not want you here. He told, leave the planet and never come back. You know what the Anunnaki told him? Uh, no, but I'm hoping you'll tell me. The Anunnaki said to Putin, Earth is our planet, not yours. We are the ones who seeded the Earth with strands of life. He said that they grew all life on Earth. As in uh, a giant petri dish. Humans... The Anunnaki said, belong to them, just as your mother's chicken belonged to her. Wow. So, every 3,000 and 600 years, give or take, they return to harvest. 
Harvest what? Us. We are um, little more than food and slave labor for them. <laughs> no. Uh, theological repercussions aside, that is a frightening thought to comprehend. What is, how did the Anunnaki respond to Putin's answer? The Anunnaki said, uh, you've been warned and left. And yet, no, man, no massive Anunnaki force has invaded Russia. Mm, at least not yet. One thing I really don't understand. If the Anunnaki have the ability to instantly travel anywhere they want using these portals, I mean, why, why haven't they just sent a brigade of soldiers into Moscow? If the Anunnaki who wanted to speak to Putin showed up at the MOD, Obviously, they must have these portals in Russia already. Uh, for every answer we know, there are two we do not. It is possible the gates can accommodate only a certain number of Anunnaki before needing a retract. We just don't have all the answers, but keep in mind that Anunnaki do not just attack military. They work behind the scenes evil machinations with human beings corrupted by Anunnaki's sinister agendas. If they can infiltrate government positions and influence law, they need not show up with guns blazing. Huh. Fascinating. Does Putin believe right now, does he think that the Anunnaki have infiltrated the Russian government? Mm, no. But he believes other nations have been compromised. What nations, for instance? For instance, yours. Putin believes the Anunnaki have uh, infiltrated the White House? Mm, not sure about now, but under Obama administration, many Anunnaki roamed the White House corridors. I really don't have more information on that. Well, interestingly okay. enough, you're not the you're not the first person to make such a suggestion. I haven't heard about the Anunnaki infiltrating the White House, or others have talked about another race called the Reptilians, but we're not going to go there right now. Let's step in a different direction. According to you, Russian forces have clashed at least six times with the Anunnaki, resulting in many deaths on both sides. Where is the photographic or video evidence of the engagements? People like me and others who report on this topic, we take huge hits to our credibility because we don't have that hard evidence. I'm sure it must exist in an era where uh, Big Brother watches everything, where soldiers have body cameras. So there should be footage or pictures of these Anunnaki or Anunnaki corpses. What do you say to that? Yes, Mike, I uh, realize this is a big problem. Any footage is classified at the moment at the uh, most secret level. Even I have not seen it. Does it exist? Probably yes. Keep in mind that lack of thereof also affects my credibility. Yeah, yeah you see that. I spare what I can. As to corpses of Anunnaki, there are none. The Anunnaki biology is most strange. Their uh, insides contain a corrosive uh, bile that at, at the time of death literally dissolves both endo and exoskeleton. Only skulls have uh, been known to survive this process and photographs of Anunnaki had bones on the internet. Right. And I have and I have seen photos of on the internet that uh, of elongated skulls that many say are Anunnaki, but you know digressing, I've known you for many years and I absolutely believe that you give the that you're given the best possible information to which you've been exposed. However, as a journalist, I just I have to question everything. You've mentioned that Anunnaki use plasma-based weapons and energy spears and that their bodies liquefy at time of death. Now, these are conventions of two popular American science fiction franchises, uh, specifically the Predator and Alien series, respectively. It seems a bit convenient 
that the Anunnaki lore mimics these fictional inventions. What do you think? Michael, the margin or level of separation between fiction and reality is very narrow. I have never seen uh, these movies. I've heard about them, but I've never seen them. I do not like, like movies. But uh, the technologies used by the Anunnaki are real and are deadly. Ministry of Defense worked tirelessly to understand their technology and find a way to counter it. Thank you. You previously said, to your knowledge, other nations do not take the Anunnaki threat as seriously as does Putin, or if at all. Now, it has been suggested to me that Trump and Putin are in a secret alliance to defeat them, and that all the current rabid anti-Russian sentiment going on right now is a dog and pony show. To distract people from that, uh, from Trump and Putin actually working together. What do you say about that? Uh, look, Michael, I wish this to be true. I wish your American president would take this threat and as seriously as does President Putin. I have never, uh, I have seen no evidence showing cooperation between them. All right. If they're working together, Michael, then the rouse is so elaborate that even President Putin doesn't know he's working with Trump to fight an anarchist. Okay, so you're saying it's not true? That's what I said. Yeah. Do you think Putin stands a chance of winning this war on his own? Mm -hmm. I think... I don't know. Um, mm, what I think doesn't matter, Mike. Okay, this then that's moment. a no? Mm, I didn't say that. Uh, please don't put words in my mouth. All right, oh, fair enough. I want to make sure I get we get you accurately. Um, let's veer in a different direction. When it comes to the Anunnaki, they've been described looking in various different forms and configurations, giants 7 to 15 feet tall, uh, tall skin, I'm sorry, tan skin, translucent skin, some even say they shimmer in and out of existence, uh, kind of almost incorporeal. Uh, some say bipedal. I've heard reports of there being quadruped at quadruped Anunnaki. Does your government have any idea why there is such a why these reports vary so widely? Uh, yes, Mike. Uh, the Anunnaki breed with other races, and not just humans. The offspring are hybrid, hybrid monsters inheriting traits from the male Anunnaki and the female of whatever species it, it impregnates. Whew. This uh, accounts for the dis discrepancies. So, look, make no mistake, the Anunnaki genes are the dominant ones and even half-breeds are deadly and dangerous and as much a threat to Earth as a full-blooded Anunnaki. Wow. So the Anunnaki uh, males are breeding with uh, females of other species. I assume the females are not willing participants. Mm, correct. Uh, they are victims of the Anunnaki genetic experimentation process. Do you or ha have you learned from your government how many races uh, the Anunnaki might have mingled with? I know it's a question out there. Uh, this I do not know, but more than just humans. All right. Mm, look, I have to go now, Mike. I have emergency. We'll right. talk soon again. All right. Well, Stronikov, I very much appreciate your your time that you take to come on and provide this information to myself and to the audience out there uh do me a favor please shoot me an email when you have time to talk again i do want to continue closing you know to continue to close out our conversations on the anunnaki and then dive into some other topics that i know you can help shed light on uh thanks very much john the you're welcome all right thank you thanks a lot